Okay, yesterday I worked on the punch and the Lao Sao. I did the Tan from the form, the Wu Sao, the forward Pak. I didn't really get to the Fuk Sao. So a lot of people are doing the Fuk Sao going upwards like this. They're going up. The Fuk has to be almost level to the floor because what you want to do is block hypothetically with this jut you use the hook see this part of your hand forms like a little hook and it hooks the fist see it hooks the person's fist so you use that hook so hypothetically say a punch came to my head and I did the jut that's the jut from Silom Tau form now in the form you do it outside the center it really should be here. So sometimes on my own, I actually do this in the form because that's the right position for the jut. When you do this, you're out, out of the center line. If you see the zipper on my hoodie, my wrist should be here for that jut. So if you, the application would be jut and buji to someone's face. So the punch comes, I would jut, cover, and hit them in the eye with my fingers. But I also can jut and bring their hand down. So, let me see if I can zoom in with this. Okay. Now if you see this, so, say I'm gonna get lower. The punch comes to my face, but I wanna move their hand down, see? So my forearm has to be parallel to the floor. I don't know if you can see that. Let me go back. Okay. So I block and then I have to bring the, see what I have to do? So in order to bring the person's arm down, you have to be parallel to the floor almost. So don't do your hook going up like this. It's out and down, almost parallel to the floor. So I'm blocking a punch. I'm bringing the hand down, check the elbow and strike. That's one application.